Hello and welcome to this paper presentation. I'm Yixuan, a PhD student from Chalmers University of Technology. The paper I'm going to present is entitled Extended Object Tracking Using Hierarchical Truncation Measurement Model with Automotive Radar. This work was done during my internship at Mitsubishi Electric Research Laboratories. Together with the research staff there, Perry, Carl, Toshi, Hassan, Milutin, Petros, and Phil. The topic of this presentation is about object tracking, and more specifically, extended object tracking. An extended object typically gives rise to multiple measurements per time step. This is a key difference compared to conventional point object tracking, which assumes that an object generates at most one measurement per time step. In extended object tracking, the object state of interest usually not only includes the object position and its kinematic state, like velocity, acceleration, and heading, etc., but also includes the extended state, that is, the shape and size of the object. The extended object tracking problem is typically solved while recursive Bayesian estimation. More specifically, at each time step, we first compute the predicted object state using the motion model in the prediction step, and then we compute the updated object state using the measurement information in update step. The object state of interest is then extracted from the posterior density using an estimator. The focus of this paper is on extended object tracking with automotive radar. The figure on the right shows the histogram of accumulated radar point cloud for vehicle detections in unit coordinate system, extracted from the new things dataset. As can be seen, real-world automotive radar measurements are typically distributed around edges of rigid objects, like vehicles with a certain volume. Common spatial models used for extended object tracking, like the contour model as illustrated in subfigure A, and the surface model as illustrated in subfigure B, are generally not applicable. What may work well is the surface volume model, which can capture the spatial characteristics of automotive radar measurements. The random matrix approach is a prominent example of surface model. It assumes elliptical object shape and is simple to implement. Then an interesting research question arises. Can we leverage on a random matrix approach and the spatial characteristics of automotive radar measurements? In this paper, we show that this is true. The main contributions of this paper are that we propose a new surface volume model called the hierarchical truncation Gaussian measurement model that can well resemble the spatial characteristics of real-world automotive radar measurements. We also develop a new random matrix-based extended object tracking algorithm tailored to the new measurement model. Importantly, integrating the new surface water model into the random matrix approach enables lightweight, realistic method implementable on automotive ECU. We start by introducing the dynamic model used in this work. The location and kinematic state is represented as a vector. Common motion models include, for example, the constant velocity model and the coordinate turn model. The state density is Gaussian. As for the extended state, it is represented by a symmetric positive definite matrix. This can be used to represent elliptic shape. When used to represent rectangular shape, the length and width of the object can be obtained from the eigen decomposition of the matrix as illustrated in the sweep figure on the right. For rigid objects, the object extent has constant size and it rotates during turns. The extended state density is an inverse Richard. We then proceed to introduce the new measurement model presented in this work. We assume that the noisy sensor detection stems from the noisy free measurement source. See the figure on the top right for the modeling diagram. The measurement source is truncated Gaussian distributed. See the figure on the right for an illustration of the PDF. The sensor noise is Gaussian distributed. 
the noisy sensor detection likelihood is in a hierarchical truncated Gaussian obtained as a convolution of a truncated Gaussian and a centered Gaussian. Its PDF is illustrated in a figure on the bottom right. As we can see, under this measurement model, the distribution of the noisy sensor measurement resembles the spatial distribution of the real-world radar measurements. As there is low probability at the object center and there is high probability around the edges. Moreover, we can set at most three out of the four truncation bounds to infinity to model the self-occlusion feature. That is only when partial view measurements are available. Given the extended object dynamic and measurement model, we are interested in recursively calculating the posterior, which is approximated as the product of the kinematic state PDF and the extended state PDF. This means that we assume that the object kinematic state and the object extended state are decoupled. Two challenges arise with the use of hierarchical truncated Gaussian measurement model. First, the measurement statistics are biased. Therefore, the random matrix approach, in which object states are updated in a common filter-like fashion, using mean and spread of Gaussian distributed measurements, may not yield good tracking results. Second, the truncation bounds need to be estimated. In a proposed solution, the first problem is addressed by constructing Gaussian distributed pseudo measurement statistics, and the second problem is addressed by formulating the estimation of the truncation bounds as an optimization problem. To solve the extent of the tracking problem in a systematic manner, we use an expectation maximization type algorithm to iteratively update the object states and the truncation bounds. Specifically, at time k, we first use a random matrix prediction equation to compute the predicted object state at time k using the updated object states at time k minus 1. Next, we initialize the iterative state update by first estimating the truncation bounds using measurements received at time k and the predicted object state. Then we construct pseudo measurement statistics using the predicted state and the updated truncation bounds and use the pseudo mean as spread to perform the random matrix update step. Continuing in this fashion, we iterate through the truncation bounds update and the state update until some convergence threshold is met. Specifically, for the construction of the pseudo measurement statistics, we can observe from the figure on the right that if we draw a certain number of samples from the inside truncate area, such that the ratio between the number of observed measurements and the number of drawn samples satisfied in KD constraint, these samples together with observed measurements may be regarded as Gaussian distributed measurements. To do so, we first compute the sample measurement mean and spread. Next, we compute the analytical mean and spread of the hierarchical truncated Gaussian distribution for which the density support of the truncated Gaussian is complement of the truncated Gaussian involved in the hierarchical truncated Gaussian distribution of, of the observed measurements. Then the Gaussian distributed student measurement statistics can be constructed as the weighted sum of the sample statistics and the analytical statistics, respectively weighted by their corresponding truncated Gaussian integrals. As for the truncation bounds estimation, the objective is to find the maximum likelihood estimates of the truncation bounds. However, directly solving this optimization problem can be computational demanding. In this work, we choose to find an approximate solution by decomposing the joint maximum likelihood estimation problem into up to four decoupled maximum likelihood estimation problem using clustering. And then for each subproblem, it is a univariate constraint optimization problem. We can find the maximum likelihood estimate using some standard root finding algorithm. In the simulation study, we first consider the evaluation of the proposed method with ideal measurement model. In the considered scenario, a rectangular object 
moves following a corner turn motion model, and the object detections are randomly drawn from a truncated uniform distribution corrupted with Gaussian noise. And the number of detections is Poisson distributed with mean 8. See the snapshot shown in the figure on the left. We compare the performance of the proposed method with modified random matrix update step with the original random matrix approach. As can be seen from the result, though the algorithm is initialized with object state deviated from the ground truth, the object names and width estimates can converge to the ground truth after a few time steps. In general, we can conclude that the proposed method can give fairly accurate object names and width estimation and the localization performance is improved as well. In the simulation study, we also evaluate the performance of the proposed method with the measurement model mismatch. Specifically, the object detections are drawn from an offline trained variational radar model represented by a student's team mixture. Again, the number of detections is Poisson distributed with mean 8. As we can see from the simulation results, the performance of the proposed method is only slightly degraded. We also validate the effectiveness of the proposed method using MathWorks measurements. The tracking scenario and the synthetic radar measurements are generated using the MathWorks automated driving toolbox. The simulation setting is that there are multiple long range, medium range, and short range model radars mounted on Eagle vehicle. In general, the generated measurements are observed to be around the object edges. As we can see from this short movie, the proposed method can still give a good estimation of the object size and location. Finally, as it is difficult to assess real automotive radar measurements, we validate the effectiveness of the proposed method using Murrow's in-house hamster LiDAR data. Hamster is a scaled vehicle test bench platform for rapid prototyping. It has anchorman steering, velocity control, IMU, camera, LiDAR, wheel encoders, and GPS. In the experiment, the LiDAR sensor is fixed and one hamster car is moving. The camera data is served as ground truth. In general, the LiDAR measurements lie on the edges of the object. As we can see from this short movie, our proposed method also works well on experimental data. To summarize, in this paper, we have proposed a new surface water model, the hierarchical truncated Gaussian measurement model, that resembles the spatial characteristics of real-world automotive radar measurement. We have also developed a new random matrix-based extended object tracking algorithm tailored to the new measurement model. The simulation results have validated and demonstrated the effectiveness of the proposed approach. Thanks for watching this video.